And that is it. Full time Bayern Munich 2. Freya Madrid. Freya Madrid 2. It's a good semi final. It was a good semi final, I have to say. It was a good semi final. I think this result definitely favors Carlo Ancelotti and Real Madrid. I think if we had lost this match, we would have been a big, big trouble. But now, a draw is exactly what Real Madrid wanted before kickoff. And a draw is exactly what Real Madrid has gotten uh, out of this game. So, huge advantage. I see this as a huge advantage for Real Madrid. I think in the second leg at home, uh, Santiago Bernabeu, it's going to be a different story. It's completely going to be a different atmosphere. And Bayern is going to suffer. They will suffer away from home for sure. But 2-2, uh, Sané with the goal, Kane, Javi Klasse scored for, for Bayern Munich, and Vini Jr. with the double for Real Madrid has tied the score from the penalty spot. And that is it, 2-2. Two, two. I think we're going to do, obviously, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid, they're going to do all this over again next week uh, at home at Santiago, uh, at Santiago Bernabeu. Like I said, I expect Madrid to advance. I expect Madrid to advance. Uh, Performance-wise, I feel like the first 15, 20 minutes was Bayern Munich uh, dominated the game, but out of nothing, which is what Madrid do all the time. Out of nothing, they score. Uh, Vinny Jr., Tony Kroos was a sensational ball in, and Vinny Jr. threw on goal one one puts the ball in the back of the net. Madrid takes the lead, and then, really, the first half, Madrid was comfortable after that. And the second half... Uh, Sane out of nowhere, similar to Madrid, out of nowhere, just cuts inside. I mean, Mendy should have defended it better, but just cuts inside of Mendy, takes a shot. Lunin near post, he had to save that, but it goes in. 1 1, you're thinking, game on, and then immediately uh, Bayern Munich get a penalty. And Harry Kane scores from the penalty spot. And it looked like Madrid was going to lose this game. It looked like Bayern was were there to score the third goal, they, but they just didn't. They didn't, they, they let Real Madrid hang on, and you know what Madrid does. Uh, two great combination from Vinny and Rodrigo. Rodrigo taken down in the penalty box, and Vinny, uh, of course, steps up to score that penalty, and 2-2, two -two, and that is it, really. That's pretty much the, uh, this game. Of course, Madrid, they have one eye in La Liga, but pretty much they rested everybody. Before coming into this game, they rested everybody. And I expect them to rest everybody in the weekend as well for La Liga. And then the Champions League game comes up. Of course, all the big guns, they're going to come out again. But Carlo Ancelotti making big calls, big decisions, taking off uh, Tony Kroos, taking off Bellingham. That's why he gets paid the big bucks because he has to make big calls. And I think those changes definitely has helped out Real Madrid to salvage a draw here. Brahim Diaz uh, came on. He looked bright. Uh, uh, and you've got to say, try many, uh, moving into a center back, Nacho coming out, Kamavinga playing as a CDM, and, and, and Tony Kroos coming in. It's sensational, bro. It's sensational tactics by Carlo Ancelotti, and he does it again, does it again, and hopefully now in the second leg, Madrid advance, obviously. Obviously, that's what we hope, but, but Hala Madrid, what are you guys saying? Zito, Yarby, Mosh, Banel, yeah, Ivan, Tino, look, Massive, massive game. Exciting game. Exciting game. And I'm really, really looking forward to the second round, uh, the second leg. Uh, but yeah, guys, before you leave, of course, every single one of you smash that like on the stream and do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. But that is it, people. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.